We don't want him to. We don't want him to tag us. So see, he's he's not that fast. I mean, he's fast, but he's not that fast. So if we can keep him from tagging us, we'll be fine. Got to remind our stamina. Okay, got him. Welcome back, everybody, to How to Play 7 Days to Die on a Nightmare Speed. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to start looking around this town here for uh, a trader and a place that we can create uh, or set up a new base. That is the plan for this episode. So we're just kind of out and about at night, very quietly, sneaking around, taking a look to see what there is to see in this area. Hope you guys enjoy this episode, and if you find yourself getting value from this video, if you enjoy it, if you learn from it, and you enjoy being a part of the Old Guy Gaming community, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like every video. It makes a big difference, and it doesn't cost you anything. If you want to contribute even more, take a look at the Join button and see the different memberships that we offer here on the channel. And if uh, that's something that looks like you'd like to be a part of, I'd be very glad to have you as a member of Old Guy Gaming. And finally, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to watch an Old Guy Gaming. Hold still, chicken. Ah, he moved right when I pulled the... <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, so we got a Nurse Nancy down the road here. Uh, nurse Nancy is dangerous by virtue of the fact that she's extremely fast. Um, we might see if we can go head to head with a normal zombo here, uh, sometime at some point in this episode. I don't know if I want it to be Nurse Nancy though, just because here again, she's just really fast. And if things go south on us, we are not going to be able to outrun her. So let's go ahead and get the chicken here. We need the bones too, because I need duct tape to finish making the armor set. Oh, and we got another point too. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so let's put uh, uh, the rocks back here so we have them to throw if we need to. And uh, sorry about the, you know, the screen being dark too, but uh, I'll try and brighten it up a little bit uh, during editing. Put some gamma on it because, you know, I, I don't want to get the torch out because if I get the torch out, it's going to make us more detectable. And uh, we don't really want to be detectable right now. Okay, let's move down this way. Uh, we could try and get the fat loots out of the dump and lung if we wanted to. The problem with looting right now is our game stages are so low. We have no lucky looter that, you know, we're just going to get crap. So I think I'd rather focus on, you know, finding a place for us to base up first. Um, and, you know, kind of save the, the looting for later. Not like... 100% across the board, but not basically I don't want to go out of my way right now to try and find super good loot until our game stages get up a little more. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's see. Let's just go all the way to the end of this block. And then we'll head uh, north up the street and see what else there is to see. If we happen to run into a normal Zeke that's not like deadly, deadly fast... Uh, we'll see if we can take them on. You know what? We we need to lighten up. We just have we just need to do it. So, all right, that's Zombie Steve. I think that's Zombie Steve. We could try and take him out. Let's make sure no one else is around. All right, let's get a sneak shot off on him first with our bow. And we do have some iron arrows that we looted in yesterday's episode. Just have to make sure that no other Zekaroos are going to come around at the same time. All right, come on, Zombie Steve. Hold still. It's really important that we get this first... For goodness sakes, sneak shot off on him so we, we get some sneak bonus damage. Man, oh man. I really hate this bow. Okay, let's wait. If you hold the bow down with it drawn back, it burns your stamina. 
the key to making this work is to manage our stamina as best as we can. Oh, he doesn't see us. That's awesome, because now we get a free another free sneak shot on him. How the hell did we miss? I'm just going to aim for center of mass just because... This bow is so inaccurate. Alright, there we go. We got our first head-to-head uh, -head kill here. Thanks to the bows. Alright, cool. Um, so, let's uh, keep working our way north. You know, the good thing about that, too, is he didn't even touch us once, which is ideal. It's ideal, because we, well, we do have some pain pills, so we could heal if we had to. All right, I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to lighten up just a little bit. So, hmm, what are we going to sacrifice? We could probably sacrifice these for now. Uh, probably the moldy bread for now. I usually never have to make antibiotics in vanilla seven days to die because, you know, we just get enough of the other stuff. Two things of gunpowder is not really helping us. Two things of iron is not really helping us at the moment. Uh, yeah, you know, same for paper. I know we could sell it, but right now we just need to stay light and limber. And this we can turn into duct tape, and that'll free us up a slot and give us a duct tape, which we need. And I think we're good to go. This, you know, let's toss this too, because that's super easy to get if we need it. That gives us a couple extra slots. All right, let's work our way north here and see if we can... Uh, find a traitor. That's really what I'd like to find. But even if, if we don't find a traitor, I still think we're going to stay here just because you just, you know, it's not next to the snow biome. All right, guys, we, we just found, we just found the traitor. Awesome. Okay. That is really awesome. So we found Trader Hughes place. Perfect. So we are definitely moving here. Um, I mean, I don't even have a lot of the substantial stuff back in the other place anyway, so we might just not even bother going back for it, at least not immediately. We could go back for it later once we, you know, get a bicycle or a vehicle of some sort. This is wonderful, and, and there's some good stuff to loot in there too. Okay, so next order of business is where do we want to live? Where do we want to live? We got Navis Gain High School right there. I've never made a base in the high school before. So that could be interesting. We got a, a log cabin right here that we could do something with. What else do we got? We got doggos over there. Um here, let's go let's go this way and just see what else there is. All right, we have a Zombo somewhere close by, but I can't see where they are. Okay, there's another Steve, the same Zombo that we just killed earlier. But I think there's another one behind this wall, so we don't want to get the attention of two if we don't have to. We could live in this house. I've looted this house several times, never actually lived in there. We don't want to be super close to the trader, though, because it'll block our land claim. Okay, let's see if we can stalk this guy. rather take him on on the road here let's try this I can't see him because the trees in the way let's get him to move out a little bit yeah there's somebody walking around over that way too
Okay, there's Steve over there. I think we could probably take him out right about here-ish. Don't see anybody else around. stamina problems. Alright, we got him, but yeah, stamina sucks, and we got a friggin' abrasion and an infection. Okay, well, I'll tell you what then, let's, uh, let's take a pill to get our health back. And we're gonna drink this water. And uh, we don't have anything to help <clears throat> with an, um, an abrasion or infection. Uh, oh, it's just crawler. Uh, an embrasure infection, so we're gonna have to uh, see if we can come across some honey and a bandage. Let's open this up, see if there's anything in here. And yeah, we got more pain pills, that's always a good thing. Okay, so this is the end of the street. That's another house we could clear out and move into if we wanted to. Uh, you know, the other option is we could actually build... Oh, nice. Okay. That was actually a pretty decent find. We're going to need shotgun parts to make that, though, as well as a workbench. So that only requires four shotgun parts and ten forged iron. Uh, that reminds me, we've got a point, too. So let's just keep working on... Um... Yeah, let's take this. Um, so if, if we happen to find a workbench before we can take Tinkerer, um, you know, then we can make the bicycle. Otherwise, we'll just take Tinkerer when we can, and then we'll make it at that point. Because, again, I mean, our, our a big, big goal for us is to get a vehicle. So that's going to be a huge game changer when the time comes. So, you know, basically I've shown you that you can... When you get to the point where I'm at, you can take on a zombie, but it's still incredibly dangerous. And, you know, we were in danger of running out of stamina. And also, you know, we got infected in an abrasion on top of that, which means we definitely do not want to be taking on any more zombies head to head right now. Okay, so let's go this way. I don't want to get super close to the trader. It'll teleport us somewhere else. This is a tier three house, so it's going to be... A big challenge for us to try and clear at this point so we might want to look for something a little more manageable for us what do we got over here let's take a look at this place over here or like I said you know we could even just build something from scratch this is not really a, a building series though it's about how to play on insane so I don't know that I, that I want to you know put that much effort into it Okay, I think that's Arlene, and she's scary fast, so we don't want to mess with her. Let's hop up on this boulder here. Oh, right. Okay, so that's like that machine shop kind of place. Um, Yeah, that's not too bad of a place we could potentially do something with that uh there's that little construction place over there there's the a-frame that big house over there with the you know with the, the like two-story balcony that sort of thing that's a tier three house so that one's going to be also a challenge to try and clear we could do it though we could do it i don't know maybe maybe we we take this place just right behind the trader. We need to find a stump so we can try and get some honey. Okay, there's a zombo over here. I can't see it. Oh, oh, it's an agar. Okay, we can outrun agar. Not too afraid of him. 
problem with outrunning Edgar, though, is that we could run into another Zombo while we're trying to outrun Edgar. So from that standpoint, it's still a bit dangerous. We could get some resources from here, which is good. We could live in the garage and just finish fixing it up. <laughs> That's another thing we could do. Always a possibility. Yeah, I think that house there would be a bit much for us to try and take on right now. We could do it, like I said, but it would be quite the challenge to do that. Okay, Edgar, go away. He's not interested in following our stones. Oh, there's a wolf. Jeez, Edgar. What the hell, man? There. <laughs> we had to bonk one off his head. All right, we got to be careful of this wolf. He'll definitely wreck our day. Sounds like he's pretty close by, too. He just does not care. I cannot believe it. Until we finally get Edgar out of here. I think the wolf's... Oh, the wolf's right there! Oh my goodness, he was right next to us, and it's a dire wolf, too. Shit. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to be tangling with that right at the moment. That is not going to be good for our health. Okay. Well, let's go over to Shade Tree Auto, then. There he goes. He finally... I mean, it took like 10 stones to distract that guy. What the hell, man? All right, there's usually a zombie that pops out of there. Hopefully that dire wolf stays over there. So let's block this. Hmm. That's not going to be easy to do. Oh, shit. Time to run. This is zombie yo. He's not, like, scary fast. Not sure who this is over here. I think that's that Arlene zombie. No, that's not Arlene. Not sure who it is, though. Okay, so Zombie Yo is... Uh, we can outrun him. He's not super dangerous. We're going to need to make some more... Uh, stone arrows because I'm out of, just about out of iron arrows. Let's make like 20. So we could maybe run off that direction if we need to, or actually. Maybe down this road. Oh, shit, there's the wolf and Edgar right there. I need, wolf, I need you to get out away from where our base is going to be. All right, Edgar actually took the bait on that one. Surprised. All right, where did Yo go? See if we can flush him out. There he is. Okay, it's starting to get light, which is good. Oh, there's Arlene right there. We don't want to mess with her. The stone we threw attracted her. Let's see if we can pull Yo over here. We 
got a couple shots off on him. I don't still don't think he's detected us. Okay, I think he has now. We don't want him to we don't want him to tag us. Well, see, he's he's not that fast. I mean, he's fast, but he's not that fast. So if we can keep him from tagging us, we'll be fine. Got to remind our stamina. Okay, got him. All right, let's take you out. Excellent. Okay, Direwolf is still hanging out. We really need him to quit hanging out. Son of a... They're not distracted by stones, so we can't, like, throw a stone to get rid of him. And there's no... You know, I'm not going to try even attempt to try and kill him right now. That would be very difficult to do. All right, we're thirsty and we're infected. Is there any stumps out in this field? We really need to uh, find a base location. All right, we don't want to mess with businessman. He's he's fast. I don't want to mess with our uh, Darlene. She's fast. She's scary fast. We could we could set up our little cheese platform and kill him that way. I guess we might have to actually. There's all those cabinets. This is kind of a cute little house here. We could fix this place up. I think I've. Been in this place before. Little fixer upper project. Too many zombies for my uh, comfort level here. Come on, guys, get the hell out of here. Especially you, Darlene. Go. Leave. Make like a tree and leaf. All right. There's an egg right there. Do we have somebody else really close by over here? Okay, I think we can... Yeah, I know, buddy. You're kind of hurting, aren't you? Let's see if we can take Edgar out. Uh, all right, we're going to have to do this differently. We're still clear behind us. I think so. Here, let's eat this last chili. Edgar the only Zombo in here? Okay, let's take him out. Okay. 
He's still clear behind us. Okay, let's watch our stamina here. Oh man, our stamina's in bad shape. Got him. Okay, Darlene's moving back over this way. With That's not a good thing. Okay, I think that's a yo. I'm not too terribly concerned with him. Let's get in here. Okay, that doesn't mean Edgar was the only Zeker in here. So we gotta be careful. Let's block this. Okay, so that's sealed up. Um, I guess what we need to do is let's just put a frame there for the moment. Okay, something comes at us from the other side. And then we're going to uh, nerd pull up. And make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, I think we've secured the place. Oh, there's a medical thing. Come on, give us some... No, that's not what we needed. We needed antibiotics. <laughs> All right, so cool. I think we've secured this place. We've found uh, Trader Hugh in this much larger town. Um, we need to find some water. I mean, there's water way back over that way, but um, hmm. I'm not seeing any water at the moment. So I might have to hike. I don't know what that is. Might have to hike back down here to, to get a bunch of water, which I can do if I have to. But anyway, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time off camera just getting this place uh, repaired, fixed up. Um, You know, get our um campfire, that sort of thing, in place. And... uh pretty much go from there try and you know see if we can find some honey for the infection of course it's getting to the point where it's going to almost be too late oh can they can he get up there what's he doing all right here let's do this Like, so my stamina is in such bad shape that I can hardly swing this. Okay, let's repair this while we have a little couple seconds of reprieve here. We gotta get these stairs out of here. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna let you guys go here. I'm gonna fix up the house. We're gonna get a bed rolled down. Um, I'm gonna go get water, get some food action going. Um, try and find a, uh, you know, some honey. But I mean, it's it's almost actually too late for honey. So 
I'll probably just end up, you know, working as much as I can until I succumb from the, uh, you know, from the, uh, the infection. I gotta, oh, I gotta go make a bedroll too and a land claim block. So do we have a land claim block made? No, let's make one of those. Cause that's, what's going to, you know, stop the spawns. Of course, this place is small enough that probably a bedroll would stop all the spawns, but we'll put a land claim block down. So, and get these stairs out. And then when I bring you guys back in the next episode, we will probably go over, say hello to trader Hugh and uh, take his first quest from him. So, yep, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.